Welcome back, frugal friends. Before we jump into these other dumpster items that Reagan and I salvaged from the public school bins this weekend, I just want to give a huge thanks to the fabulous people who sent us letters in our P.O. box. It was such a delight after a really rough, tough hike this morning to stop at the P.O. Box and read such delightful, such sweet, encouraging letters from our frugal friends. So thank you so much. If you are interested in sharing something with the frugal family through the mail, our P.O. Box address is in the video description. Can't wait to see what you want to share. Alrighty, we have a basket, laundry basket. The one handle was broken, but I'm not worried about that. We will still use it. We have one, no, two garbage bags. This one's not even been used, and this one is empty. We have some books. This one is Lunch Lady, has discard written on it. I, oh, Olivia just gasped. I think she's excited. I'm wondering if we can get that marker off without ruining the book. We'll try. Let's see, some recycling, some pages from an I Spy book, and we're gonna go ahead and play with these, and I'm thinking these might be something for a decoupage project. We have Weird But True, Gross, National Geographic Kids, 300 Slimy, Sticky, and Smelly Facts. Let's see, for instance, Forensic entomologists study how bugs interact with dead bodies. And this one here, a little tidbit, an assassin spider impales its victim, injects it with venom, and lets it dangle until it dies. We're gonna... We're not... <laughs> That's not the direction we're wanting to go today. Uh, let's go to this one. Just joking. 300 jokes. So let's let's see what we've got here. What do you do when you cross a pair? Oh, what do you get when you cross? Julie, can you talk? What do you get when you cross a parakeet with a lawnmower? Shredded tweet. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. oh boy. Another joking one. A package of crackers and they're expired uh ooh, ooh 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 number one it's disney which is always awesome number two it's aladdin number three it's a look and find we love look and find kind of books or i spy or where's waldo any of that kind of stuff those are so awesome we totally love them this needs a teeny bit of repair but that is not a problem i will tape those pages back in and we will have fun with this book. This one, How Animals Work. I'm guessing this is all kinds of great science. Yep, big giant ant right there. This also needs some repairs, but I repair lots and lots of books, so not a problem. Mo Willems presents, that is not a good idea. This one, it'll be easier to get the discard off because it's not actually on the cover, it's on the dust cover, the plastic. So that should be easy. Remember all the rulers? If you watched our ride along video, we do ride along videos every Sunday. Let's see, there's all these ones. We've got plastic, we've got stainless steel. I'm sure there's more, yep, there's another one. There were so many. Seems like, well, okay, I mean, that is a lot, but it seems like there were more. Could have sworn there were more. Well, anyway, all these rulers. I have some super fun projects, crafting projects in mind for all these awesome rulers. The, the project I'm working on right now is with wooden rulers, but I have another one in mind for the plastic and metal ones, so stay tuned for that. We have a gift bag that's all smunched up, but it has some fabulous... Ooh, I wonder, oh man, the card's gone. Um, has some fabulous tissue paper in there. We will add that to our gift wrapping supplies. Let's see, a package of peanut butter monster trail mix. Just barely expired. Let's see, we've got some folders. These ones are nice, they look nearly new. There's a Staples brand folder, plastic one. 
This is, ooh, Birds and Blooms Extra. We've got lots of birds around here, several of them living in our trees. There was quite the to-do in our neighborhood, just barely, with a little bird falling out of the nest. And the neighbor cat, who is the devil, trying to get it. Well, he did have it in his, in his little paws. And then Olivia's best friend's dad and mom came and saved it. And we've seen it up and about flying around with its mommy and daddy. So, so many happy me. things. Reagan thinks it attacked him. Anyway, this is going to be an interesting read got butterfly on back that's fantastic i'm seeing all kinds of fun nature stuff in here and where we are back into our hiking this just might come in handy maybe we'll bring some of these along and see what we can find and if we find them and they're in here as well maybe we can cut out their pictures and add them to our summer scrapbook more folders a whole bunch of folders file folders uh Let's see, plastic ones. These are all really nice, too. There's some garbage stuck to those. That's unfortunate. But all of these nice folders, we that's another thing that we will never have to buy is folders. Ever, ever, ever. So these are the travel guides that we saw for Utah. And yes, we live in Utah, but I've been amazed over the past couple of years at just how much I am not familiar with about the state I've lived in for 20 years. So, yeah, we've been discovering Utah, and it's a lot of fun. Utah is a beautiful state. It is definitely quirky and a little strange in a lot of ways, but it is a beautiful state, and we are trying to enjoy it and... Uh, well, enjoy it to the fullest. That's what we're what we're up to. So, awesome little guidebook there. We're going to check that out, see if there's anything helpful. And then same with all of these, all about national parks and public lands. And another of those life elevated, slightly different one. And I'm also thinking there's going to be some fun pictures and titles in here that we can cut out and add to our summer scrapbook which I just added these from our trip to the Thanksgiving Point uh, Ashton Flower Gardens. Stay tuned. That will be in our week three summer fun video. But we've just been adding and adding all kinds of different things from our different days of fun. So for sure, there will be some goodies in here that will uh, work in our scrapbook. So all of those, we'll look through them and see what they've got. And then this is a really nice book. It says uh, Utah Lake Legacy, and it has all of these lovely black and white images. People fishing. I wouldn't fish in Utah Lake. Um, it has been cleaned up quite a bit, but it has a really nasty past, including lots of, like, infestations of really nasty creatures and... Not not a few dead bodies, human bodies that were thrown into the lake and later surfaced. So quite the controversy surrounding that lake between the dead bodies and people catching all kinds of crazy diseases by swimming in there. But I know there has been some effort in cleaning it up. Back in these guys' day, though, I'm sure it was lovely. Like, look at this. Look how, oh my goodness, having a little picnic out there at Utah Lake, wearing their hats. I love hats. I wish people were still, you know, that that was still like the thing for women to wear hats. I would wear them all the time. I wouldn't want to wear a girdle or any of this other nonsense, but hats. Mm, hats. Okay, sidetracked. Couple, let's see, a couple of bottles. We've got one. It's a brand new bottle of water. There are some candies in there. We'll dump those in the garbage. And then this is liquid oxygen hand sanitizer. And it just looks like the little pump part got broken off. No big deal. We can take a pump off of one of our other things when it's empty. Or just squeeze this into one of our other bottles, our other pump bottles of hand sanitizer. I'm going to clean up this laundry basket and take it down to the laundry room. 
P.S. You may have noticed that that laptop that we found this weekend is plugged in over there. It turns on, but it comes to like a weird screen with just a bunch of writing. Olivia says she knows what to do, so we're going to see if she can figure it out because she and the kids have one like it. And so she thinks she can, can suss that out and get it, get it going. We shall see. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated. If it does work, we're keeping it for the kids so that they don't fight over the other one. All right, a couple other things. There's this magnet. It says the Ralgro Road has a, some cows stampeding. I have no idea what that's about or where that's from. If any of you recognize it, tell us in the comments. And also a little metal heart dangly thing. And I got the books ready to go. Took um, all of that marker off of there. Just realized that this needs some repairs on the inside. That sucks, but we'll get it done. Got the marker off of this one. Got all of these taped up. This one, it's, it's in rough shape, but I taped it up enough that we'll be able to use it. This Aladdin one is my absolute worst books, book fix ever, but every single page had come out. They were not at all attached to each other, so that, that was rough, but we're just using it as a look and find, which is what it is, so yeah. And then the How Animals Work was an easy fix, super duper nice book. We will have hours of fun and science learning with that. I find when I'm doing this kind of stuff, if there's something that needs doing, I've got to just jump in and do it right away before I even move on to looking at any other finds because otherwise it's going to just pile up and sit around and the chore list, the to-do list just gets just daunting, overwhelmingly long. So this is the way to do it. All right, Lulu, my amazing hacker, computer extraordinaire, she got into the into that little laptop computer. Yep, it works. It's beautiful. It's fabulous. We, we have the same one. That's the one that we have. This one's smaller. And this is the newer one. So she got in there. That's so cool. We will clean that up a little bit, files and whatnot. Make sure that we get rid of anything that we don't need on there and that the previous owner would not want us to have. We do like to be respectful in that way towards other people's things. So we'll get that cleaned up and then we're gonna have a lot of fun with it. Thank you, amazing Olivia. She is my computer whiz. Special thanks to our Patreon patrons. Every dollar that you pledge each month goes straight into our gas tank, making the mission of saving and salvaging possible. If you are interested in donating in this way and contributing to the mission, go ahead and look in the video description for links to Patreon and our other social media. Have a great day, guys.